Nancy says, Matthew, why would a man ghost you after everything seems so wonderful? Suddenly he has lots of things going on in his life. How should we act in this situation? So it, it doesn't sound like he ghosted you. It sounds like he's letting you know that he's got a lot of things going on in his life and that those things take the priority over you. That's a big, there's a big difference between that and ghosting. Ghosting means that a guy disappears and ignores your texts and, and calls. So this doesn't sound like it's ghosting. It sounds like he's pulling away and he's shifting his priorities. And the way that you should act in this situation is to give him space and let him go and do whatever it is that he's doing and live your life and create a lifestyle and uh, specifically an abundance of connection. So you want to start creating abundance in your life. Specifically, like I said, an abundance of creating different types of connection so that you're not so focused on what he's doing. And, you know, depending on your situation, I don't know your situation, right? So if he's, if you're not in a committed relationship, my suggestion is that you create an abundance of options as well and start dating other guys and start seeing other guys. If you're in a committed relationship, then you need to start creating an abundance of connection where you're connecting with friends and family and other people and having lots of different things going on in your life so that you're not totally caught up on what's going on with him and you can lean back and you can let him do whatever it is that he's doing if he's got some other legitimate priority in his life. If he doesn't have a legitimate priority that's going on in his life, then what you should probably start questioning is whether um, is what's actually going on there and whether he's actually committed to the relationship or not.